Hello everybody, so in today's video you're gonna learn how to download and install the flashback mod for the Minecraft version 1.21.4. Take it away! As with any Minecraft modification or launcher or anything of the sort, you will need to start by opening up your browser. I'll be using Chromium. You can use basically anything else as long as it's not something like Internet Explorer in 2024 and what you're gonna want to do is go over to the search bar and just type in modrenf so we just go to this top result which is modrenf.com if that for some reason if if that for some reason is not the top result you just scroll down until you find it so we just click on modrenf and we'll be brought into this page and this service has a lot of really cool features, like a very comfortable monetization policy for mod makers and resource pack creators. And it ha even has a server hosting feature for a very affordable price. We made a whole series about that that will be linked in the description below. But for this video, we're only interested in going over to discover content and clicking on mods. And here we just type in flashback. So you just type in flashback into the search bar and you'll see this result. Here we have flashback. So you just click on versions. And here we'll have 1.21.4 updated two days ago. So we just click download. And if you go over to this platforms, you'll see fabric. So we're going to need fabric. And if we actually click into this and scroll down you'll see it has no other dependencies so we're just gonna need to download fabric so the way to download fabric is very simple you just type in fabric minecraft right up here you click the blue download button and you click the second blue download button so if we go over to the download swing now as you can see both of our necessary things are downloaded so we can close our browser and open up the file explorer once we go here we just go over to downloads or whichever folder you have designated as your downloads folder maybe you have two downloads folders just like me and then you just go over to whichever one your current browser is configured to download to so once you're here you just click on you just double click on fabric installer and it will automatically be configured for the newest version of minecraft so you just click install once it's done installing you can just select it and press the delete key or right click it and uh, delete it that way and for now you can close your file explorer and go into the minecraft launcher the minecraft launcher will take a few seconds to open and a few more seconds to actually load up depending on your pc's hardware so once you're on this screen you'll see fabric loader 1.21.4 so you just go over to installations and here some of you might notice that you don't have fa uh, the fabric loader as an actual instance of minecraft well, that could be because in the versions tab, you don't have modded selected, and if you don't see snapshots, it could be because you don't have snapshots selected. So, uh, once uh, what you're going to want to do now is go over to this folder icon, just click it, go over to mods, and as you can see, this folder is empty by default, and you go over to downloads, so you have this flashback, so you just select it, and then you press cut, then you press this back arrow, then you right click the empty space, click paste, and if you go back to downloads, you'll see it is now empty. Or at least the things that you downloaded, selected, and used cut on are now gone. So, you can now just click close, and you can run the fabric loader. So as you can see, sometimes you can have stuff like this, where we just have dependencies that aren't actually listed. In the description or in the other dependency section of the mods you're downloading for example fabric api so what we're gonna do here is just open our browser back up and type in fabric api and we'll just go over to this modrenv section and fabric api we just go over to versions we go to 1.21.4 we click it See if it has any dependencies of it don't. It doesn't, except for the loader. So all you need to do is just click download. And there we go. Now, 
what we do is we just press X on this and it will throw you back into the Minecraft launcher and it will give you exit code one. So you go over to installations, you go over to the folder icon, you go back into downloads, you cut it, go back here, go into your mods folder and paste it in. And that should fix any errors you run into in this specific instance and you can just run it once again. So once you are in Minecraft, you'll see Minecraft, the Minecraft version, Fabric, and Modded. So now, mm, what you're going to want to do is go over to this icon and you'll see we have no actual replays. What we need to do is create a replay. Let's just go into single player. Let's go into this world, specifically. And what we're going to do is immediately click escape and click start recording so we're now recording and now we're just gonna jump around place some blocks there we go and now we're gonna click finish recording save replay and we're gonna click save and quit to title and go over to our replays so here we have our replay and if we go inside of it, you will see we have a whole editing software within Minecraft. So, let's say I want to add an element, which would be just camera. And I want to add another element, which would be FOV. And I want to add a camera keyframe, and I want to add an FOV keyframe, and start our FOV off at 30. Add. Then we press play. And this is what we start off with. So if we just go out, go to our FOV keyframe, set it to 50, and add another camera keyframe. And we go back, you'll see we can get some really cool looking cinematic shots going in just a few seconds. So if I just go back over here this time, and we wait a bit longer for it to look smoother. And we set the FOV back to like 16, for example. And just put the camera right here. And we play this out. What we get is this weird camera angle. So you can do a lot of really cool stuff with this. You can do some really interesting cinematography just within the game. And it changes the whole process into a more editing software-like approach, which is a lot more understandable for YouTubers and other people that deal with these kinds of uh, softwares on a day-to-day -day basis. So it makes a lot more sense and it's a lot more intuitive. So yeah, that's how you get, install, and use flashback mod for minecraft version 1.29.4 if you want to see more videos just like this one don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications and if you have any ideas or ideas of your own for videos we should make then leave your ideas in the comments and we just might do them and even credit you in the videos yeah bye